Now that your Revit model is properly coordinated on the site, let's create some views from various rooms of that Revit model that will overlook the project site within the InfraWorks model. This will give us and any project stakeholders a better understanding of what the project site may look like from different rooms and elevations from within the proposed building. For this example, I want to create views from the rooftop level. So these open areas here, as well as any rooms that are associated with that level as well. And so I've created a floor plan with all the rooms on as well as their reference. And this reference point is actually what's going to be used to, to set the location of our camera. It is this intersection right here. This is the point that is going to be used. So if I want my view to be looking out, say the front part of the room overlooking the site, down here to the, the southeast, I'm going to want to make sure that I actually move this point closer to the windows and also ensure that it's not being obstructed in any way with any walls or columns or any other elements within the model. And this is the entire dynamograph that will be used to extract those room points from the Revit model and export them to a CSV file. And essentially what's happening here is we're passing the element IDs from those selected objects to the dynamograph. From here, it's combining the name and the number. That way we have an idea of which room we're actually standing in inside of the InfraWorks model. And it will also be used to generate the bookmark within InfraWorks as well. The points of the rooms are then being uh, transformed from the project base point to the survey coordinates because that's what InfraWorks needs. We're also adding six feet to the Z elevation. This is essentially going to be the height of the camera or eye level as you're looking out from that room. And then we're taking all this information and we're outputting to a CSV file.